What's good Cardano fam, Ada gang, we have some exciting updates for Cardano, some stuff we didn't expect with Bitcoin, so hit that subscribe, hit that like, let's start with Emergo, NFTs have become a popular blockchain use case, embraced by an increasing number of major companies and everyday users. They offer a unique way to represent transactional brand assets in an increasingly digital world, sparking excitement for their potential to transform assets of all types. While NFTs are often linked to digital art and videos, there's a whole world of possibilities beyond that to explore. And so five more NFT use cases. We see real estate, tokenizing property and deeds, finance, tokenized government bonds and treasuries, ticketing, simplify purchasing, prevent ticket scalping, and prove attendance. I love this because I've not seen many people talk about this. And Amergo, a founding entity in Cardano, they're always coming out with bubbly, good, juicy recaps and great updates and fantastic stuff. I love this stuff coming from Amergo. We'll continue to cover it. Subscriptions. Record the terms of a subscription, such as the price, duration, level of access, and user rewards. That's something a little bit more uncommon, right? Like breaking that down. I, I love that. And even different elements to it. Resale of digital items. Enable resale of certain digital goods such as books, video games, etc. And on the subject of subscriptions, guys, like even thinking about like a, a phone provider, maybe you've been with a company for 10 years, maybe you've been with them for two years, loyalty, proof of work, and like all these things so that people are not yapping to customer service. How beautiful it would empower customer service companies, customers, even on ticketing alone, as someone who has been in the entertainment industry like DJing, promoting at the nightclubs. Ticketing is full of issues, plagued with issues that blockchain can definitely make smoother. So very nice. Definitely looking forward to more use cases for NFTs. Now, Ada, gang, Cardano Ada, Mehen, Mehen. <laughs> I'm just going to call it USDM. USDM, it's not possible to freeze your accounts and block transactions. So take this with a grain of salt. Maybe this will change. But uh, you can definitely see that as a positive from the DeFi aspect, right? Because of um, all the other chains where you can freeze the accounts, you can block the transactions. So take that with a grain of salt. I mean, I don't mind it either way because I think the context is important, but preferably I would rather roll with this. You know, I always want to go with Wild Wild West and let informed adults choose and decide what they want to do. And if you made a mistake, you made a mistake. It's funny how we want the upside volatility, but we're, we don't, we always want that Costco customer service. You can't have both. You know what I'm saying? We got to go as much DeFi as possible. Charles Hoskinson says, for those discussing scaling, there is enough money in the treasury to pursue an aggressive Leos, Hydra, and ZK program if the community wants to go in this direction. I'd advocate to continue the parallel approach given that we have the infrastructure and talent to do it. I also believe things could move very fast given all the enhancements we've seen over the last 24 months. And I agree. I think this is, seems sensible, seems very rational to me. Charles seems to be a very rational, um, logical, objective-based guy. And um, yeah, like especially his sincerity over the past few years, like seeing what he has done, sp speaking out against stuff. And he's quite, he's very transparent with a lot of the stuff, both on a business level and a personal level where I don't see anyone else kind of discuss. So kudos to Charles, really like Charles Hoskinson. We'll continue to cover what's going on in his profile. This, guys, KTOR Z, kind of reminds me of KOTOR. KOTOR Remake? KOTOR Remake better not flaw. Otherwise, it's Charles' fault. I've put the entire Bitcoin chain on Cardano and added a block to it. Sort of. Let's rewind a bit. This is already somewhat leaked, but I've been working on a top secret open source library, which I am happy to officially release. So Merkel, Merkel Patricia Forestry Libraries for working with Merkel Patricia tries on Cardano. So MPT, this is way above my head because I was reading the replies. I took a look briefly at the GitHub, but it's very complicated. Let's dive into some of these replies. But if you guys are a dev and you understand this a little bit better, let me know. Kotor says it's actually not one, but two libraries. One is Icon, providing specific utilities to smart contracts. And the other is Node.js for the off-chain bits. It is a complete implementation of modified MPT 
with a twist. So I call it Merkel, Merkel Patricia Forestry. Wow, these names, guys. Fundamentally, this is an authenticated data structure for mapping arbitrary keys to arbitrary values. Yet, it is done in such a way that it is possible to perform some operations from only, only a small hash and a succinct proof. No need to carry the entire data structure. If you've been in the blockchain space long enough, you have certainly heard of Merkle trees, which are similar, albeit simpler structures for representing list of items. I have heard of it for sure. Yet Merkle trees only allow for checking membership, i.e. presence of an item from a root hash. MPTs make it possible to also perform insertion and deletion of a key slash value. Ethereum uses said MPTs for its blockchain state and transaction storage. With this, it enables light clients to query ba for balances without the need to store the entire chain. Okay, so that's good. That's great because that can be cumbersome. The issue, however, is that these MPTs proofs tend to be quite large, multiple kilobytes for large enough uh, stores of data. While not that problematic for off-chain operations, on-chain, every byte matters. So in this implementation, I'm bringing something which I believe to be new. Without going into the details, but feel free to read if you want to, it has to do with the way nodes are arranged and combined at each level in the try. It turns out that we can use tiny sparse Merkle trees of 16 items at each level, trees in tries. So I guess it's kind of like fractionalizing it, div dividing it out. I saw like a little graph that showed it kind of like different roads almost, if you will, kind of different columns. Um, I will link everything, like always, in the video description. This gives the name to the library, and it seemingly allows to drastically reduce the size of the proofs by trading it for a few extra computing steps. And it ultimately achieves a very good trade-off. That's very nice. Reduce the size of the proofs, the trade-off for a few extra computing steps. It sounds like it's worth it to me. If you're reducing the footprint, the the size, just for a little bit tad extra computing, why not, right? Computing is always getting faster and faster. Size, especially when it comes to scalability and transactions, like he said, every byte matters. So that seems like a good trade-off, a win-win. The transaction I just linked is doing something quite unexpected. It spends a UTXO that contains the root hash of a Merkle Patricia forestry representing the entire Bitcoin block header hashes mapped to their transactions. That's about 850 blocks compressed into 32 bytes. Yep. Yet to spend it, one has to prove on chain that they are continuing the chain by inserting a new block in the try, such that the next root hash that gets stored on chain represents exactly the previous chain plus one block. The entire validator fits in 26 lines of ICON. To be more specific, it adds the 845th, 602nd, eighth, <laughs> with hash so and so into a Merkle Patricia Forestry that contains a previous blocks. Here, I think he meant to say 840, 850,000, because here he's using a comma, but I digress. There's a lot of jargon here. It's hard for me to wrap my head around. The TLDR, also, guys, is we've been seeing that Cardano and Bitcoin, there can be synergy there. We could use a Bitcoin wallet to do so and so. There's we're seeing more strides um, and leaps in terms of synergy between these chains, more overlaps, and I think this is another step in the right direction. And we're gonna have to wait and see what this actually means, right? Take this with a grain of salt. Of course, this validator is very rudimentary. A real implementation would check for the difficulty and the full header. Microproofs can tell you more about this as he's been thinking about that for quite a while now. The use case, trustless bridges. Okay, so I, I like this. Trustless bridges, account management. Um, if I recall correctly, I think it was the Bitcoin wallet. They were saying like you could use Bitcoin wallet. This is a different video, mind you, not specifically on KOTOR Z, but um, doing kind of like account management, like synergy between accounts uh, via Bitcoin to Cardano or vice versa. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but that... In, in layman terms, seeing stuff like this, use case trustless bridges, don't mind if I do. We know that trustless bridge is important. And it doesn't stop there. The Bitcoin example here is one fun, albeit potentially useful scenario. Imagine the real of, of uh, possibilities. 
with such arbitrarily large key value stores managed fully on chain, a domains registry, a feed of financial market data, GitHub stats. Cool. This is exciting me and I appreciate you Kotor Z for putting like stuff like that in like the, the different use cases. I do see a world where institutions or committees publish large data sets in the form of a simple root hash on chain, effectively serving as oracles for a variety of smart contracts down the line. So happy to hear and see what use cases people come up with now. It feels good to finally release that as it was originally something I did start at the end of last year, a bit as a side project. And given that there was many conversations about this lately, that's true. I thought I'd resurrect and properly package that code open sourcing for the win. Beautiful. Great. So, I mean, it's released open source for the win. This is on GitHub. And like we saw a lot of use case will open up with this, with this entire Bitcoin chain on Cardano, we can see how Cardano is shaping up to be the next gen altcoin and a super node, if you will, tapping into many different things. And I think the future is interoperability. I think the future is omni-chain. So good stuff. It's a lot of tech. So it's really hard for me to wrap my head around the actual use case. But, you know, to his defense, also, he provided some uh, use cases in particular, um, some stuff like different use cases with accounting stuff and feeds, domain registry, GitHub stats, maybe trustless bridge, maybe this, who knows, you know, could be a myriad of use case that like we're only scratching the surface. But nonetheless, this is exciting that this is out now officially. Great. Let's finish off with like, there's a lot of like uh, controversy right now with Warren Buffett's one stock. It plunged $185, came back up. Didn't really want to cover that because it just seems like it's an error and whatnot. There's GME stuff. People are pissed about, you know, FIT 21, the veto by the current administration. So this is regarding this. I think guys, we're having the first crypto election and it's going to go down as a very interesting, dramatic, heated, heated fall of 2024. Today, and this is a chief legal officer, I believe, at Coinbase. Yeah. He says, today we filed our closing brief in this third circuit challenging the SEC's denial of our rulemaking petition. At the core of this case is a single conclusory stand sentence in the SEC order under review. That sentence, which disagreed that SEC rules are unworkable for digital asset firms, offered no reason, no reason decision making. It offered no reason at all. The SEC's order must be vacated on this elementary ground alone. Continues to say, the SEC cannot claim broad jurisdiction over a new industry without proper authorization from Congress and without making clear rules, right? Nothing's clear. Just like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't like that. Remarkably, the SEC says over and over again that it doesn't matter if the industry can comply with the rules. The SEC is bent on choking the digital asset industry and is refusing to provide the necessary rules the industry has requested in order to tighten the squeeze. We saw now recently with um, with Trump, with his charging, I think he has racked up donations like $53 million. Um, and everyone's going to be running to the races to be pro-crypto, whether truthfully or not. Um, and it, it's very bizarre. I, I don't even, it's, it's very bizarre. I thought that this wouldn't have been vetoed, but it got vetoed. And uh, at this point, I think we need to see what's next. I believe that we have to wait and see to get a, a two thirds support, like an overwhelming support. Who knows what's in store with the US? Uh, as a Canadian, we don't really have these issues. You know, we all have our different issues, but man, the United States just hates money, I guess. Like they don't want to boom their economy. It's very bizarre because all this talent goes to UAE, it goes to Singapore, it goes to like, Dubai goes like Thailand, you get the all more and more expats, you just get more people leaving the United States to build elsewhere because they can't. Finally, we appreciate the Third Circuit's careful consideration in this matter. Meanwhile, we'll continue to push for clarity for the entire industry in every forum we can. And guys, I mean, we'll leave it at that. I think that Cardano has a lot of juicy stuff going for it. And I think Cardano is ready to pop uh, positioned really well geopolitically, great brand intimacy, great charismatic leadership, great war chest governance and hyperscalability around the corner. There's a lot of beautiful stuff that are ready to cannon and just go ham. And guys, there's a lot of projects that perform very, very bad and much worse than Cardano did in the previous bull run. 
Mind you, Cardano got its all-time high in the previous bull run. Many projects didn't even get close to their previous, previous all-time highs. So I think we're ready. It's just a matter of time. And if I see the Jeets just paper hand sell Cardano, bring it down to like, who knows? Like if they bring it down to say beneath 40 cents, I'll be scooping it up. I'll be scooping up more. Because for me, my buying window, like I really like these ranges of like the 25 to 40 cent. And this is kind of going hand in hand with what I said. I told you guys that in, let's go back a few months. So I warned you guys that like, hey, past having, we're probably going to have a bearish summer. We're going to have lots of FUD. We're going to have all these weird stuff going sideways slash bearish. And, and lo and behold, it is like this. Albeit Bitcoin's chilling at this new discovery zone of like the 60, 69K. But, you know, people have been, um, I think they often think that it will pop right after a bull run or sorry, right after a halving. But after the previous halving, we didn't get that massive, massive run, right? If we go to the previous halving, we were around here and it was the months that followed afterwards that took us up. And mind you, mind you, yes, Bitcoin is high, but here at this level, let's zoom out a little. So right here, where we were, we were getting new all-time highs first in 2021, we're only 20% search results on Google for Bitcoin and crypto globally on Google Trends. So we're not there yet. There's a lot more upside potential still. And I think that Q4 and beyond are going to be very important for Cardano and the rest of the space. And Cardano, guys, is something that people underestimate. It continues to live rent-free in people's minds. So thank them for their service. Guys, I'm looking forward to the future of Cardano. Let me know your thoughts, price predictions, any updates, anything your guys are excited about. And hit that subscribe, hit that like. I'll see you guys in the next Angry Crypto Show.